Okay, guys. Uh, we're back on the uh, 74 Baja bug. I got the CV joint uh, and axle out of the Volkswagen. I got it set up here in the vise. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this snap ring on the end. I have the this set of pliers here that is not really designed for this, but I think that if I can get this on here and spread this a little bit, then I should be able to uh, get it off. And uh, we'll start off by uh, I get behind this ring. I've pulled these off before. You got to sort of get get behind here a little bit, and then and then just kind of work it a little bit at a time around. And then we should be able to get it off of there. They're kind of a pain in the ass to get off, but. Um, we just work it, work it, work it, work it. And it should just kind of come off and around there. Get behind here and just kind of work it as we go with this other help from this other little tool here. And then, you know, you want to have some kind of eye protection on here because these things can get, you know, you never know where they're, they could end up going. You know, because they're under a little bit of stress, you know, a little bit of spring action on them here. So just go around and walk it off. Walk it off. There it comes. We almost got her now. Just going to use this to walk it off. There it goes. Kind of came on off. All righty. So now uh, I'm going to uh, get behind uh, this little this inner part here is on the spline shaft and it is uh what you want to tap on from the back side or i can lay this flat on uh like a mandel or a uh, uh something solid and you can tap on this from the back side flat but what i think i'm going to do here is just try to get on to the uh back side of that Got just a uh, little screwdriver here. I actually have a drift down in uh, the lower shop there, but I think I'm just gonna see if this is going to allow me to get this off. Let me reposition this a little bit. You got a good view of that. All right. So I'm gonna get right behind this. And I think what I'll do, since we know that that boot is uh, gone, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, trim this boot off of there and get it get it out of our way. I think we can uh, get a little bit more visibility here. We're not dealing with this this boot. Okay, the boot's gone there, and I'm just going to go ahead and. Just cut it away from the axle back here, and we'll just get that completely out of our way here. I've never really been a glove guy, by the way. Eh, I don't really get along too good with them, but trying to film, I thought that if I had gloves on, it would help a little bit when I went to grab the camera, but I fight them so darn bad, I think I'd rather just have a bunch of paper towels sitting around here so i'm going to uh get behind the center of this and i'm just going to follow down on the shaft here and i'm going to take a look as i give a little tap and yeah i see it's it's wanting to come here uh, hopefully you guys can see this see now we're almost uh we're almost straight across uh right right there this is almost straight across. So as I tap it, the spline should start to get uh, pushed back behind here. So I'm going to uh, try to hold on to things here and give it a little nudge uh, back here. And hopefully she'll just kind of slide right off of there. And uh, okay, you can see that now. You can see how I have a whole bunch of that spline showing. So. We're just going to tap it, and there we go. All right. Well, that was pretty good because, actually, I wanted to, uh, to be honest, I've never taken one of these completely apart, and I know these are stacked in order. 
uh, for instance, this is a flat shelf on here right there. And on the other side, there's a, a raised edge. Uh, this inner, this race here that holds the bearings in there, uh, one of them has this edge right here. Let me see if I can bring you over with a little better light here. I know I'm not, uh, um, I'm going to clean up here a little bit, but this uh, race right here, the, this the first one here is flat. On the other side of it, there's a step around the center. This uh, bearing race here, I believe that one of these is a little bold or a little bit more of a shoulder right there and a little bit more beveled on the back side. And then, of course, this is self-explanatory on the outside because there is a groove in here for the uh, new boot. Uh, this is part of the boot here. This will all come off right here, and that's all part of the new boot. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think uh, let's go put this back in the vise, and let's see if we can get that, that boot off real quick. And then that way, uh, let me see. I want to make sure you guys do that, that vise there. And we're going to put this back in there and see if we can't tap that because I, I, it was on there pretty good earlier what I saw. So I'm going to open this way up here and let's set this guy in there like uh, this, I think. This angle right here. Close down on it a little bit. Not too much force, but I want to be able to get... Uh, I want to be able to get behind. This is a raised area right here, and I want to see what happens when I tap on that and just get this started to come off here. Yeah, no, it's just spinning in here. Um, I'm going to have to uh, probably clean that up a little bit better, and I'm going to put you guys on hold, and I'll bring you back when I figure out how I'm going to attack that. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, what I found uh, was the best way to get this off is I came, I did end up putting it back in the vise, and I came around, and I uh, got this with a chisel on this lip here. I, I kind of opened her up a little bit. I gave it a nice tap. There is a step in there, so I stayed on top of it. I kind of compromised that a little bit, and by hitting it, I think I kind of loosened things up, and then... Uh, once I did, then I was able to kind of come around at an angle here and just give it some some taps with this. It didn't take much to get it off once I got it started. It was just kind of, yeah, I just think it was on there for forever, glued on. So, okay, that's what, I'm going to go grab a box here. So just in case, uh, a lot of you guys may be familiar with, with this, what I'm doing, but I'm going to show you. Uh, what this new this new part here looks like so this is the flange that I'm now uh, taking off and the new boot and so of course that'll go on there but before that happens we're going to take and make sure that this is all because I don't know how how long that uh, crack was in that boot I want to make sure there's not uh, dirt and crap in here so I want to take this out of here and probably completely clean this one this side out at least and I'd like to kind of see how uh, this is assembled too and like I mentioned before I believe that uh, this side in here is going this side of the this side of the race okay so yeah okay the inner part on this side has these little cutouts in it and now this this goes towards the uh, uh, inboard side this is this side here uh, is out towards the uh, wheel so uh, this came off of here so this is the inboard side facing the other uh, CV joint so uh, yeah so the this has got some little ribs in it, and this side, now by golly, they are the same. But that is true in the sense that this is a bolder edge than it is in here. Now, the difference between the inside, I'm not sure what it is. It looks the same to me. So uh, I'm going to uh, 
uh, to disassemble this and then I'll bring you guys back.